All right, guys. So I'm back. I set it up right. I so I got it set up right here on my comp on my desk, and I'm um, just gonna show you guys the front here. So let's see if I can zoom in there. It says has a one ms trace free LED. Okay. ACCP support 1080. Okay, what else is there? Uh, display port. Oh, it does have a display port. So for all Mac users, it has a display port. So you can um, use this for your Mac. And then on the back here, let's see, zoom in there. You got your controls right there. Okay, so there's the power button. You got some menus. You know. You can dibble dabble with that. Okay, so all right, so let's let's so let's power it up. So let's power it up. Okay, so let me see this here. Let's turn on the computer. It should be plug and play. Um let's see. Okay, I think it's still detecting. Okay, let's see, I think you may have to um, put the menus on, you have to, um, which part, because I already connected the HDMI, so I think, let's see, oh, let's take out the stickers first, Maybe stickers anymore here. HDMI 1, I think it's HDMI 1 or HDMI 2, HDMI 1, no signal, so it must be HDMI 2, let's see, alright guys, so there it is guys, there it is guys, so um, let me see, let me just type in my password here, So there it is guys, there it is guys, um, let's see, um, I, it might not be the best, um, clarity on if, what you guys can see, but, um, haven't dabbled with the controls yet, the uh, effects, but as I can see right now, it is much, much, much better than your um, regular LCD. Um, it's much brighter. Uh, let me just go change the back, let me just look, it's still loading all the applications, but it, it's much, much brighter than your typical LCD, because it's LED backlit. And as you can see, there's little ghosting whatsoever, because it's one MS. So just by, here, let's just, Let's just wait for it to load all the applications. Okay. Um, has it's with an M, it's one MS guys. Like look look. There is no ghosting whatsoever. Look at that. I mean, playing this with your FPS games, your your games on like ultra I mean look at that there is no ghosting whatsoever guys let's change some backgrounds here um let's see let's go um standard mode theater mode game mode night view mode um s RGB mode for like photo editing, no Adobe Photoshop. Scenery mode. I hope you guys can um, look at the, you know, what 
and I know it's gonna get converted to YouTube, but I hope you guys can see the color changes. This I'm using the splendor the, the the splendid mode that the the presets that come with it. So right there. I have to calibrate it some more because I think it needs more color, but I'll do it later. But I think one good mode would be scenery mode because it just the colors just pop out. Seen it standard mode, you know, you have to calibrate. This is your normal default mode. It's kind of dull, you have to calibrate it some more, so I'll do it later, but if I would say the best mode right off the bat would be scenery mode because the colors just pop out. But yeah. So um what else is there? You've got the menus here, like volume, right there, and then you go to the menu mode, okay, and then color, brightness, user mode, smart view, image, aspect control, right there, you could dibble dabble with all the controls, you got eco mode, you know, if you want to save energy here's all your modes right here um, okay go back back let's see color brightness contrast saturation skin tone natural smart view Let's check out what Smart View is. Okay. I think it's like uh, um, default mode or, oh no, I don't get that mode. So let's just back away, image, trace free, I guess 80, max, you could put it to 100% maximum so you get the 1ms, I'll dabble with that later, you got your controls right there, system setup, um, echo mode, OSD setup, information, language, all reset, so I think that's it, so um, I guess, um, let's see, let me, let me start, um, at least get something going on so you guys can see, um, what to expect when you play this, um, on your PC game. So I'm just going to start, um, Call of Duty. So let's see. Let's go with the campaign mode because it shows off the graphics. Um, as you guys can see, uh, let me just zoom in. Uh, I don't have the volume on. I don't need the volume. Here, let me just put it so where you guys can see. Okay, so there it is. Let me just start the graphics here. Let's show off this one here. Let's 
get that one. Hope you guys can tell the, the how it looks. As you can see, look at that. Even if I zoom in, there is no ghosting whatsoever. Look at that. I'm zooming the camera and there is no ghosting. Look, look how, look. Look at it. I think it's still loading. See, look at, look how fluid the videos are. Look, I'm zooming in, zooming out, and there's no flickering whatsoever. No ghosting whatsoever. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. See, that is totally zoomed in into the monitor, and there's no flickering or ghosting. Look how fluid it is, see? Look, look, I'm zooming in, out, in. It's like you're zooming into a picture. See? That's what you get. That is that is true one ms response time right there. And like if you if you compare it with other monitors, like you have like you record all your gameplay and you zoom in, there's like little there's ghosting. There is no ghosting whatsoever. Look at that. Look. Fully zoomed in. It's like you don't even need a game capture card. You just need the camcorder and this and it shows perfect video. Look at that. No ghosting whatsoever. And there it is guys. So um I think that's gonna wrap it up. Um I'm just gonna dabble with some more get the perfect um, calibration for the colors and um, yeah so I think that's it guys so I'm just gonna wrap things up so that's the that's the Asus uh, I forgot what it's called the Asus VS278 um, LCD LED backlit monitor with 1ms response time it's a 27 inch and um yeah i think it's a really i mean i recommend highly recommend this um monitor guys um it's good for everything like all around monitor and with the price 250 for a 27 inch led one ms monitor that is a steal i mean that is and it's also um i forgot to mention guys it has um built-in speakers but I didn't put that because I use my speakers right there. But in case like, you know, you don't, you just want to grab this and on the go, you know, and 